So in this video, I'm gonna show you um, some stuff, okay? So look, Donald Trump Jr. yesterday was tweeting like a shitstorm. This is what he said. One third. F okay, let me see. So it's stronger. So if he is a strong guy, he tweeted yesterday during the Comey testimony. So if he is a strong guy, he might have actually followed procedure and the uh, law. You were the director of FBI. Who are you kidding? Then, Comey, I could be wrong. Hoping and telling are two different things. You would like a guy like Comey would know that. Give me a break. They're knowing my father for 39 years when he orders and tells you to do something. There is no ambiguity. You will know exactly what he means. Two thirds, very far from any kind of influence in certain not uh, obstruction. One third, flim stuff is BS in context to guys about talking about a guy they knew both well. I hear, I hope nothing happens to you or the average. Okay, now look, I'm clicking on Donald Trump Jr. profile. Wait, where is it? So I'm gonna click on Donald Trump Jr.'s profile. So right here, Donald Trump Jr. Click on it. Now look, account has been suspended. Donald Trump Jr.'s account has been suspended because of yesterday because he was tweeting about Comey. All freaking day he was tweeting about Comey. Talking shit about Comey because Donald Trump did not tweet on June 8th. As you see, June 7th. His tweets were in the morning. Two tweets. Despite so many false statements and lies and total complete vindication and while wow, Comey's a leaker. Great reporting at Fox of Friends and many others. Thank you. So yesterday, I went on a Twitter rant, too. Let me go click on my profile. Hold on, wait. Wait, here it is. Let me click on my profile. Hold on. I'll show you my profile. Okay, now, see? Where's the stupid mouse? There it is. So, this is my profile yesterday. These are my tweets about Comey. So I retweeted a lot of Donald Trump Jr.'s tweets, okay? Then I tweeted other shit, too. Then I made videos and stuff. I tweeted Bill O'Reilly's, too. So... Senator Wyden, Comey, and abuse of President Trump's power. Bill Wright tweeted, that's what he said. When you when you hear hate Trump folks whine about cracking down on leakers, hit them with that. Comey says he was concerned that Trump might lie about their conversations, so he wrote memos about their meetings. Bill O'Reilly said Comey says that Comey says he will not allow for security reasons to directly refuse a false report at New York Times surveillance, but the story was bull was bull. Bill O'Reilly said, that's what fake news is. And then he said, today's winner is Bill Donald Trump, the Dow, America, MAGA. Losers call me Loretta Lynch, but especially MSN, but especially New York Times. So this is a video of Comey. Wait, let me go back to the video. Hold on. Let me turn up the volume. And so I asked a close friend of mine to do it. And was, and was finally, did you show copies of your memos to anyone outside of the Department of Justice? Yes. And to whom did you show copies? I asked, um, the president tweeted on Friday after I got fired that I better hope there's not tapes. I woke up in the middle of the night on Monday night because it didn't dawn on me originally, that there might be corroboration for our conversation. There might be a tape. And my judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. Didn't do it myself for a variety of reasons, but I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. And so I asked a close friend of mine to do it. And was that Mr. Wittes? No, uh, no. Who was that? A good friend of mine who's a professor at Columbia Law School. Okay, now, so James Wood was like, I retweeted James Wood's tweet. 
So we learned that neither the Russians or New York Times succeeded in fixing the election. We know they both tried, however. Then I'm like, holy shit, James Comey just admitted to colliding with Laura Lynch to falsify his statements to benefit Hillary Clinton's campaign. And then can you imagine if AJ Sessions collided with the FBI director to change their statements for Trump investigation for political reasons? <coughs> then I wrote this about Comey. Comey mainly replies, I can't answer that in an open setting, sir. But admits to colliding with Lynch to falsify statements to benefit Clinton campaign during the Clinton campaign. Now see, these are the faces of the people at the bars in New York, at the Brooklyn bars. Look at the face of that guy while he's watching the Comey testimony. The face that you make, the face when reality hits you and you realize you waste six months of your lives on something that doesn't even exist. The Russia hoax, the Comey day, the Russia scam it does not exist. The Russia did not did not, you know, attack the election. Comey admitted to Larry Lynch to meet with Bill Clinton on plane. So right here, I mean. Here's what we think, and that that offered us the best chance of the American people believing in the system that it was done in a credible way. It was a hard call for me to make to call the Attorney General that morning and say I'm about to do a press conference and I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to say. And I said to her, I hope someday you'll understand why I think I have to do this. But look, I wasn't loving this. I knew this would be disastrous for me personally, but I thought this is the best way to protect these institutions that we care so much about. And having done that, and then having testified repeatedly under oath, we're done, this was done in a credible way, there's no there there, that when the Anthony Weiner thing landed on me on October 27th, and there was a huge, this is what people forget, new... Now he called the real engine and told her he had to testify what she did. So, anyways, during former during former FBI Comey testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee Thursday morning, he told the he told he told them what prompted him to. So, then we got a schoolboy just then we got a man just as a Baruch, Justin Abruka. He raped and attacked the school schoolboy and killed him. Then Comey admits to the range. Then all these other. Links are shared by uh, Comey. But I can't believe Donald Trump Jr. is blocked on Twitter. They blocked him. Now let's watch Comey's three hour testimony cut in seven minutes. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Please be seated. Do you have any doubt? <coughs> that Russia attempted to interfere in the 2016 elections? None. There should be no fuzz on this whatsoever. The Russians interfered in our election during the 2016 cycle. They did it with purpose. They did it with sophistication. But he said none. Did you hear that? Overwhelming technical efforts. And he fucking lies. Measures campaign driven from the top of that government. There is no fuzz on that. It's not about Republicans or Democrats. They're coming after America, which I hope we all love equally. They want to undermine our credibility in the face of the world. They think that Fake this great smile. experiment of ours is a threat to them. And so they're going to try to run it down and dirty it up as much as possible. That's what this is about. And they will Even be back fucking because we remain Megan Kelly when as, she as interviewed difficult as Putin, we can be with each other. Putin we told Megan Kelly the off. shining city on the hill and they don't like it. But after that briefing, you felt compelled <coughs> to document that conversation that you actually started documenting it as soon as you got into the car. I was honestly concerned that he might lie about the nature of our meeting, and so I thought it really important oh, to document. This was the only president oh, you felt like in every meeting you needed to document. How does it feel with shit on your face? You got shit on your face, Comey. A non-truthful representation of that meeting. Now, that's right, that's right, Senator. And I, I, as I said in my written testimony, as FBI director, I interacted with President Obama, and I spoke only twice in three years. Uh, and didn't document it. When I was Deputy Attorney General, I had one one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Bush. Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't he document when he talked with President Obama? Why didn't he document it? But but he wants to document when he talks to Trump. Bull fucking shit. Obama was a fucking Satan of the United States of America. Trump is the fucking God of the United States of America. Trump is a messenger from God. Trump is and will be the best president of the United States of America. I have friends in France that wishing they had a 
fucking leader like Trump. I have friends in other countries that are wishing they had leaders like Trump because their leaders are dictators, especially the new French president that was elected. He's a fucking dictator. Like the London, like, like the London mayor or whatever, the fucking dictator. About a very important and difficult national security matter. I didn't write a memo documenting that conversation either. Sent a quick email to my staff to let them know there was something going on. <coughs> Sorry. But I didn't feel with President Bush the need to document it in that way. Well, it, my impression, and again, it's President Bush, you didn't feel it needs to document it. common sense told me that what was going on is... What was your common sense, huh? What was your, your common sense in that fucking that brain of yours? Oh, I just want to push screen. To stay, and you didn't get anything for it. And that the dinner was an effort to build a relationship, in fact, he asked specifically, of loyalty. You've seen the picture of me walking across the blue room. You don't know Trump. And like, his kids know him. The president whispered Stupid. in my ear was, I really look forward to working with you. So after those encounters... And that was just a few days before you were Yeah, that was on the 20... The Sunday after the inauguration. The next Friday, I have dinner, and the president begins by wanting to talk about my job. So I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute... Your job, you didn't fucking Curry, arrest Hillary. 33,000 emails, motherfucker. My Benghazi. Sense, I could be wrong, but my common sense told me... Human trafficking. Is, Jesus Christ. He's looking to get something. The news reporter that was killed in Haiti, which he was fucking... How the news reporter that was killed in Haiti when she was um, doing a, a fucking report on a child trafficking, child trafficking in Haiti from Hillary Clinton's gold on. brother's gold mine. Yeah, so much so that I assumed Shit. there would be others that he couldn't possibly be having dinner with me alone. Why is Christ you stop and say, Mr. President, this is wrong? I cannot discuss this with you. It's a great question. Maybe if I were stronger, I would have. I was so stunned by the conversation that I just mm -hmm. took it in Four minutes. and the only thing I could think to say because I was playing in my mind because I was gonna remember every word he said I was playing in my mind remember what what should my response you be? lie so I very carefully chose the words and look I I've seen the tweet about tapes Lordy I hope there are tapes I I remember saying I agree he's a good guy as a way of saying I'm not agreeing with what you just asked me to do did you show copies of your memos to anyone outside of the Department of Justice? Yes. The president tweeted on Friday after I got fired that I better hope there's not tapes. I woke up in the middle of the night on Monday night because it didn't dawn on me originally that there might be corroboration for our conversation. There might be a tape. And my judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter didn't do it myself for a variety of reasons, but I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. I'm not being facetious. I hope there are, and I'll consent to the release of... So both of you, both of you are in the same findings here. You both hope there's <laughs> some recording. Well, I'm the, I, all I can do is hope. Uh, the, the president surely knows whether he taped me, and if he did, uh, my feelings aren't hurt. Release the entire, release all the tapes. I'm gotcha. good with it. Gotcha. I don't think it's for me to say whether the conversation I had with the president was an effort to obstruct. I took it as a very disturbing thing, very concerning. But when you get a, when a president of the United States in the Oval Office says something like "I hope" or "I suggest" or "or would you," do you take that as a as a as a directive? Yes. Yes, it rings in my ear as kind of, will no one rid me of this meddlesome priest? It, I was just going to quote that in 1170, December 29, Henry II said, who will rid me of this meddlesome priest? And then the next day he was killed. Was your decision influenced by the attorney general's tarmac meeting with the former president, Bill Clinton? Yes, in, in a ultimately uh, conclusive way. That was the thing that capped it for me, that I had to do something separately. And then you made a comment earlier about... Um, the attorney general, uh, previous attorney general, uh, asking you about the uh, investigation on the Clinton emails, saying that you've been asked not to call it an investigation anymore, but to call it a matter. And you had said that confused you. Can you give us additional details on that? Well, it concerned me because we were at the point where we had refused to confirm the existence, as we typically do, of an investigation for months. And it was getting to a place where that looked silly.